we are going to look at some of the personal impacts of a night out. Um, this is one scenario which I've certainly come across. It normally happens to me about 1am in the morning. I'm on the night bus and then it dawns on me what's happened. Take a look. I'm Tony and I was at a work night out one day and I was having lots of free drinks and taking lots of selfies, filming all my colleagues and one minute I had my phone in my hand, put it down and then the next day I realised that it was gone. I'm always, like the selfies and the pictures and the videos and the texting and the calling, like it's, my, it's got my entire life in here and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I think it's actually quite natural and normal for most people in this day and age. Like my right arm would be cut off. I was really, really devastated for the time that it was, wasn't with me. Um, and I felt ashamed and I swore that I would never drink again because losing my phone is just like the worst thing that can ever happen to me. I know that feeling. It's happened to you too, hasn't it? Um, I've done it several times. Now, uh, you've been telling us about this on Twitter. We'll go through some of your mishaps in just a moment. First, though, um, when it comes to smartphones, they do look set to become more than just for selfies and texts on a night out. One app developer reckons by the end of the year, 200,000 students and uni staff across London will be using their phones to pay for food, drinks and all sorts of other things. OK, so it is called uh, Yo-Yo. Uh, Imperial College thought to be the first uh, uni in London to roll it out. Um, I popped into that bar this lunchtime to see how it works. It is similar to an app used by a big coffee chain. I met the man uh, behind the idea and asked a few students if they thought um, or thought about the risks of combining alcohol and phones in a bar. Yeah, of course, because you're going to take it out of your pocket more often, you're going to use it more often all the time. Yeah, it's definitely a concern. My phone is 24-7 in my hand, so I don't think this, was, this would be an issue, actually. I have lost a phone, but not when I was using the Yo-Yo app, Yo -Yo app, so... I don't think, it doesn't, no, that doesn't really worry me. It's a single destination app you open up, you have a QR code that gets scanned. As we have an integration at the Teal system with the retailer, it means the cashier just presses one button and scans the QR code. When you go to buy uh, at a bar or anywhere, you know, you want to consume the product that you're buying. You know, payment is actually something that gets in the way. So the faster you make that, the, the better it is not just for you as a, as a consumer of that product, but for the retailer, because for a retailer, that speed of service is, is most critical. If I lost my phone on a night out, somebody else could then just literally swipe away until, until they're happy. Yeah, so we have uh, certain pin controls. That means they can't get direct access into certain components of the app things like topping up the account, etc. So there's a lot of security there. Equally, if actually you lost your phone, the reality is, and I was the guy that stole your phone and didn't return it, would be that the value is the phone itself. So the first thing I'd do is actually probably wipe it and then sell it for, for the hardware. 